Yes. Now, Police Minister Peggy Tsele has ordered an investigation into why Mpumalanga Premier Refilo Mtsweni Tsipane was seen without a mask at the funeral of uh, the late minister in the presidency, Jackson Mtembu. For more on this, uh, we're joined now by Police Ministry spokesperson Liranzo Temba. Ms. Temba, thank you very much for your time. The Mpumalanga Premier does not deny that her mask was off in public. There's a video to that effect. What investigation is there to be done by the police minister? Thank you so much, Koli, for the opportunity. Um, let's also just remind your viewers as well as Africans that when it comes to the transgression of the COVID-19 regulations, it is in black and white in the Gazette that um, a person needs to be uh, given a verbal warning um, before an arrest or a fine can be meted out. So what we have requested as a police ministry, what the police minister has requested for the National Commission to do is to find out um, and answer some of these questions that we are, as a nation are having. Um, what was she told by a law enforcement officer if this was the case? Why was it that action was not taken? This is why the minister has urgently called for a report to be brought before his desk and also for action to be taken. Um, so this are some of the questions that we hope that this probe is going to answer. Yeah, 24 hours later, Liranzo Temba, um, the police ministry would have analysed the images that came from the cemetery. In your perspective, when the Premier was seen leaning forward to the police officer, was she hugging the police officer or was she trying to listen to what the police officer was saying to her? I'm trying to get your sense of whether the Premier actually hugged someone in public whilst not wearing a mask? Well, I would like to tell your viewers about what I think. I really cannot say that. What I can say is that this is what the investigation is going to inform. We cannot be going on assumptions. We cannot be going on speculations. We have to be going on hard facts because hard facts are the ones that are going to stand in the court of law and hard facts are going to be the ones that are going to basically ensure that, you know, the right action is taken against the premier if needs be. So I cannot tell you if it was a hug or it was an embrace or if it was a reprimand. I hope it was a reprimand because um, according to regulations as I've stated forward, that um, an officer of the law has to ensure that um, a person is given a verbal warning before they can issue them with a fine or uh, take them to jail. So right. these are the kind of things, what are the questions that need to be answered early and we cannot really go on speculation at this point, no. Has a verbal warning been issued therefore to the Premier of Mpumalang? This is what the investigation is going to tell us. I wasn't there, the Minister of Police wasn't there, the National Commissioner who is now tasked to looking at this wasn't there either. This is what needs to be told to the Office of the National National Commissioner and subsequently to the uh, Office of the Police Minister. All right, and how long will this take for it uh, to be wrapped up or for the public to be notified whether or not the Premier of Mbumalanga will be arrested? Taking the seriousness of this very uh, uh, situation, we really expect an urgent investigation to be, um, it, um, it, you know, put in place, and urgently so. We expect a report as well. As you said, this was captured on national television, um, and you know, it shouldn't be a dragged out process. So the minister was very clear that urgently there needs to be an investigation, and he needs to have the answers as soon as possible. Lorenzo Temba, thank you very much for your time speaking on behalf of uh, the police ministry there.